Hello and good day to you. Welcome back to another edition of our positive word. Take suffering away. That is the focus at this time. I just want to simply share a few verses of scripture and just call on God to intervene in what's going on in our lives and in the world around us. God says in Exodus chapter 2 and verse 24, and God heard their groaning and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This was the time when the children of Israel were in bondage and really, really were under so much oppression. God remembered his covenant with them. We are all covenant children of God. We are calling on him today to remember his covenant with us and take control to come and do what only he can do to relieve the suffering in the world. Revelations chapter 21, verse 4. One day I will wipe away every tear and take away all your pains. This is God speaking. We know this will happen at the end of life when Jesus returns. But we're calling on God that while we're here, that he should alleviate this pain, this suffering, to take away the tears. It's, it's becoming unbearable. So we're looking to God to intervene. Isaiah chapter 35, verse 10. Joy and gladness will overtake them and sorrow and sighing will flee. This is our desire for joy, happiness, peace to flood our lives. Sorrow, pains, aches, disasters, calamities, weeping to disappear. Exodus chapter six, verse six. I will rescue you and I will redeem, redeem you with my outstretched arm. Yes, Lord, this is why we are looking to you today to show up, stretch forth your hand and rescue us, rescue our world, rescue our families to the glory of your own name. The last verse I'm going to read from is Isaiah 25 verse nine. Look, this is our God. He, we have hoped in him and he will save us. This is Jehovah. He is our God. He says we should call upon him in the day of trouble and he will answer and rescue us. We're calling on you today, God. Show up, rescue us, deliver us, take away suffering, take away pains. Father, give us the grace to hang on. Help us, Lord. We need you. We know that the world has gone astray. But Lord God, we are calling on you because you are interested. You loved us so much and you sent your son to die for us. You said you would never leave us nor forsake us. We remind you of these words today, Father. Show up, take charge, intervene. Only you can set the world free, can set us free, release our families, save and deliver us from all the wicked plans of the evil one. In Jesus' name, we have prayed today. May God help us to continue to hold on to him, even as we look towards the day of Jesus. Despite everything that's going on in our world, we will not lose hope. We will not waver. We will not falter. We will not be deceived. We will continue to hold on to God, to trust him, to look and give us the strength to carry on to his own glory. In Jesus' name, amen.